Hey guys, it's Kanwalva here and today I just got a text from a good friend of mine, Orid from uh, South Korea and he is working on a track with me for the past couple of months and uh, we just reached the mastering stage of the track. So he sent me the pre-master a couple of days ago and I worked on it and created a mastered render for him and I sent it over to him and after he watched that video, he told me that man, it seems like the volume levels of the mastered render is slightly lesser compared to the demos that he is used to listening. And I realized that it's probably because of the fact that I mastered the tracks considering the volume normalization that websites such as Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Deezer, Pandora and stuff like that have. And I sent him a small video showing how this thing works right now and why I mastered taking these things into consideration and he said that maybe you should release this on your YouTube channel and I then realized that uh, last year I released two videos on this on my channel and then I watched the video just to have a look at what I did last year and the videos were like 10 minutes long and many things have sort of changed over the couple of months uh, regarding the average LUFS values on certain websites and there is also some new information which I wanted to share with you guys. So here's the video that I shared with Orid and you guys can have a look at what I was talking about. So yeah, here we go. Hey man, how's it going? So I noticed that you've seen that the loudness level of our track, the mastered version which I sent is much lower than one of Harsh Records tracks. So I just wanted to show you a quick thing why that is. So here's a Harsh Records label on YouTube and I'm just going to open one of their tracks. Nice. So I'm going to make the volume 100% in the slider here and notice what happens when I right click and go into stats for nerds. When I go into stats for nerds, you can see that volume slash normalize says that I have made it 100% but the content loudness is brought down by 6 dBs. That's almost 50% of the volume of the track when it was uploaded on Harsh Records. So what this means is YouTube is coming in between and it's actually reducing the volume of the track which was uploaded on their website. And this is something which is not just unique to uh, YouTube. This is something which is done by other websites such as Spotify, Deezer, Pandora, Apple Music and all the other streaming websites. And this is to make sure that all the videos, all the songs on the platform sound at the same consistent audio level. Now I want to show you something else. And now this is called as loudness penalty analyzer. Now what happens is, if we make sure that the loudness is actually 6 dBs less on an average in a track, then these websites actually don't put this um, volume normalization. The thing with volume normalization is when it reduces your volume by, you know, say suppose 6 dBs or 5 dBs, then it affects the quality of the master. So what happens is there are some artifacts and glitches in the sound which are not really intended by you but they come to place so let's see what happens when i upload our track here so i'm going to go into the directory where the master is this is the master which i sent you and i'm going to upload this here now loudness penalty is going to analyze our audio and it's going to tell what the average loudness level is of our track now if you see here, it's saying that YouTube is not going to increase or decrease the volume levels of our track, so it's going to be the same. Spotify is going to bump up the volume by 0.4 dBs. So by making it less, Spotify is actually going to increase the volume. iTunes is going to keep it constant, Amazon Music is going to keep it constant, and if you come here, Deezer is going to reduce it by 0.6 dBs. Okay. And what that means for us is that there are no artifacts which are going to come into place, you know, and things like um, YouTube and Spotify and Tidal and all these websites are not going to reduce the volume for us, which is what we want. Now, you might be thinking then, well, why not make it loud and let them take care of it? 
uh, that is because when they reduce the volume it is going to use a algorithm which they have and that creates some kind of artifacts in the you know music when we send the track to records or records we are going to send them through soundcloud which does not have any of these volume normalizations so when we send it through soundcloud what i'm going to do is take our track and actually increase the volume uh, until it is as loud as what records has you know and soundcloud does not apply any volume normalization so when you download from soundcloud uh, i mean someone from records downloads our music then they will listen to the loudest possible volume so that is what the goal is so that's what i wanted to show and it's kind of a confusing topic but i want to explain why i made those decisions that's that man i hope i got my message across if you have any questions then let me know in whatsapp and we'll take it up from there all right man all right guys that's it for today i wanted to make more videos but this week it seems like uh, the wall over there started just chipping and there's some construction going on upstairs and there's a lot of noise during the daytime and the night time so i'm going to get this fixed first and then after that is fixed uh, i'm going to probably even paint the room a little because this color really does not complement my skin tone so maybe painting this would you know change the feel of the studio a little so let me know which color i should pick for the walls in the comments all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching and if you found this helpful then consider hitting the like and subscribe button